promise. God fulfilled His word. He sent His prophet. And we partake of what God has done and is still doing. And as I said at the beginning, let me say again in closing, many speak of what God has done in the years of Brother Branham. Maybe since 1933, to 1965. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for all these testimonies. But I live now. I live now. I want to know what God is doing now. I want a part in what God is doing now. And this is calling out time. This is preparation time. This is restoration time. And soon Matthew 25 will be fulfilled. The last message is, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Go ye out to meet him. So, who has the promise? The bride has the promise. And all who are part of the bride of Christ now believe the promise. They hear the message of the bridegroom. They come out from all denominations, from all confusion, from all Babylonian captivities. They are restored back to the original foundation, to the original teachings, to the original power of Almighty God at this time. So where is your place in the kingdom of God? I'm just looking back and God this, this, and did, and did. God is not the God of the past. He is ever present. He is the I am. He is never the I was. He is the I am, the I am, the I am. And I live now. And if I know what God has done yesterday, I will know what He does today. And if I know what He does today, I will have part in what He's doing tomorrow. But just live in the past and say the Lord has and all that. Forget it. It's not enough. We must be up to date in the kingdom of God. How many believe the scriptures? How many believe the promises of God? How many prepare? May the blessings of Almighty God rest upon you. You are just such a nice congregation. If you permit me after the service, I will just take one photo and will take you with me. This is a great day for me, as I said at the beginning. It is my last stopover, having been to China and to Mongolia and to, to uh, Seoul. So it's my last stopover. It was just upon my heart not to fly back without having been in Manila. And I look back to precisely 40 years when I came to your country the first time, 40 years ago. And I've been here maybe 17 or 18 times so the past 40 years. I always love to come back. You are just nice people believing the word of God and receiving the word of God. So please never forget, first God makes promises and if you are a child of promise, you receive the word of promise and then you receive the spirit of promise. You are not only anointed, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Maybe one thought comes to me. At the present time, we have over 550 million charismatic people on earth. Over 550 million who dance in the spirit, who speak in tongues, who have music. Yes, yes, yes. And they all think that they are blessed, but they don't care about the promised world. They don't care about what is what God is doing right now. And many of the great personalities have built their own kingdoms, their own kingdoms, their own kingdoms. Some have become multi-millionaires, 
One is become a billionaire and share and saying we're we're praising God. Please, please, please. Come back to God. Come back to His Word. Don't be deceived. Because many false prophets, many Christ will rise and deceive many. Don't be deceived. Believe the word of God promised for this day. And have part in what God is doing right now. And then I will see you again in glory. In closing, let me say, let me say after the Lord called me to the ministry with many tears. I made a covenant with him. I said, Dear Lord, I will obey. I will go from city to city, from country to country, to preach your word. But I have one special request that I wish to present to you. And I said with many tears, I said, Dear Lord, let me have the privilege that all who heard your word from my lips would believe you and that I will see them again in glory. So if you believe God, if you believe the word I preach, if you believe the word of God, I will see you again in glory. Be a child of promise, believe in the promises, and not only anointed, but be sealed. Many, many are anointed, but the seal, God can only put the seal upon what He has done. You know, a document is sealed. A document is sealed. So, receive the promises, believe the promises, and finally, be sealed by the Spirit of promise until their redemption. Oh my Amen. 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 Two more minutes. Hallelujah. In January 1981, I was taken out of this body. I died with malaria. There was no hope for me. They pushed me into a room where people died. One curtain here and one curtain here, given up by the doctors. And I knew that I was going. I knew. I was going. I could not speak anymore. I could not move anymore. But I wanted to say these words. Dear Lord, how do I stand in your presence? And the next moment, I was taken out of this body, under the blue sky. And when I looked to my right, I saw a white dressed multitude, which no one can number and all were young, all in the blossom of the youth, so 17, 18. In the resurrection, there will be no trace of sin, no trace of old age, no trace of sickness, only perfect, 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 forever and ever. Beloved, I'd like to see you when the Lord returns. And I believe, I personally believe, that we shall see the return of our Lord in our time. Because he said, when you see all these things come to pass, then you know, then you know, it's not only near, it's at the door. And why did we hear the last message? Why didn't we recognize that God has sent this prophet? Because there is a divine purpose connected to it. The most important thing to hear the promised word of God, to receive the promised prophet and all the promises God made in his word. This is the day the Lord has made for you all. So bless you in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Let us stand for the word of prayer.